here I am with the unbelievably talented and oh so attractive Il Divo. Welcome back to the UAE, guys. Well, how do you guys select which song Joe is going to sing and who's going to sing which bits? Do you guys ever argue about that? Uh, no, there's not really that. <laughs> who's going to be the star because we are well aware of that. I'm the star. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen at some point today. Well, you know who's the charmer now and who's the choker. <laughs> okay. It's true. Yeah. Um, no, we are well aware that Il Divo was the four of us after the nine years mm -hmm. of success we had together. And as Sebastian said, you know, the further we come with all this, the better we get along, the better we know each other, the better we know what we're doing. And we are very, very passionate and excited about what we're doing. And when we choose the songs, that's a collaboration between the four of us, the producers, the management, the record company. That's actually the only part that Simon Cowell is still involved in. Mentioning Simon Cowell, actually, for the, he said for the first time when he met you guys, he was really intimidated because he was so blown away by your talent. How is he working with him? Because you, know, you see him on TV and he's quite, a, he's quite scary and very critical. How was he with you guys, especially that you were all new to each other, coming from different worlds? How was that experience? Well, I think that, uh, you know, it's a different scenario, us working with him, than him judging a TV competition. Mm -hmm. You know, because he's basically on one side of the table and the contestants are on the other. Mm -hmm. Whereas, uh, you know, us working together to make an album we can all be proud of, we're all on the same side. Now, you guys have sang with some legendary singers. We're talking Barbara Streisand, Tony Braxton, Celine Dion. Who is left if each of you had to sing, perform with someone? Who would it be? Each of them was an amazing experience. Obviously, Barbara Streisand was fantastic. And not only, I mean, because we sung with her, uh, we had a fantastic anecdote, for example, at the Madison Square Garden. Uh, in the intermission, we were at the dressing room, obviously, and then someone knocked at the door, it was uh, Hillary Clinton. She was, ah. she was a very big Hildeo fan. And she, she asked us, well, to make a photo. And then, um, well, we were there, I mean, making a photo with her. And then Bill, Bill left me, uh, Clinton arrived and said, ah, I should do a, a tour with you because ah. I can play saxophone. So, so it was amazing. And then Celine Dion has been fantastic, uh, Tony Braxton and many, many others. So who's next for you? Who do you want to perform with still? I think what would be really uh, good is to do something that would be really unexpected. I know we've talked about that, like a rapper, like a, a big rapper or a uh, heavy metal uh, uh, band or, I don't know, like Bjork, something really out of the box. I think that would be, that would be surprising. <laughs>